Hello. This video is the first in a sequence of videos about carboxylic acids. Uh, and in this video, I'm going to focus on nomenclature of carboxylic acids, just in brief. Uh, so carboxylic acids, here's the carboxylic acid functional group. It's a carbonyl group with an OH on one side and some hydrocarbon group on the other. And the, the systematic name for carboxylic acids are take the to identify the parent chain and, and use the sort of, uh, you know, the, <clears throat> the appropriate prefix F. Uh, there's no carbon-carbon multiple bonds, so we're going to use the, the an infix. And then the suffix is oic acid. So this is two carbons, ethanoic acid. And you can name many other kind of complicated carboxylic acid you want, noting that uh, the carboxylic acid is always at the end of the chain, so, so we don't need to call one ethanoic acid. It's always at the one position. Uh, okay. This this here is a pentane, pentanoic acid, and it's got a methyl group of carbon 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, so 4 methyl pentanoic acid. Uh, if you have a molecule that has more than one carboxylic acid, you can name them as di or trioic acids. So like, for example, this molecule here is uh, propane trioic acid. And if the... Uh, in, in, uh, if the carbox... Even if the, like, the carboxylic acid functional group has the highest sort of numbering priority. So even though it feels like it's not at the you know, part of the longest chain of carbon atoms, you know, this molecule here is still some sort of butane dioic acid. Uh, and it has a one, two, three, four, five, two pentyl butane dioic acid. And the Carboxylic acid functional group tends to have higher priority than uh, most other functional groups. So a molecule that has, for example, an alcohol and a, a carboxylic acid in it would pentane. And this is 4-hydroxy pentanoic acid. Uh, and you can name other substituents similarly. <clears throat> What is true, though, is that there are a number of common names of carboxylic acids that remain uh, important parts of chemical nomenclature and are accepted by the IUPAC. Part of that is because of uh, the biological origin of some of these carboxylic acids, and so we're just going to share them with you. Starting with one carbon, this is formic acid. And two carbons is acetic acid, and you know, you've probably heard some of these terms. You know, three carbons, we would call it propanoic acid, but uh, the, the sort of the more common name is propionic acid. And then uh, butyric acid is, is the four carbon. You, you notice that some of these names, like three and four, sound like the more systematic. So this would be propanoic, propionic, butanoic, uh, butyric. Uh, but once you get to start getting to higher numbers, like six is caproic and, and you know, 18 is, is steric, and then there's, there's just a lot of other uh, names out there. So we have uh, some common names that have survived, and then there are some dioic acids that have common names that have survived as well. So like this one is oxalic acid, and the three carbon acid, which actually I drew up here, is called propane dioic acid. Uh, its common name is malonic acid. And um, but the butane dioic acid 
as a name. This is succinic acid. There we go. And depending on your experience with the, the molecular mechanisms of biology, you might start to recognize some of these names like succinyl and, suc and whatnot. And five carbons is glutaric acid and, and so on. So I'm just I'm going to stop at four, um, but you there are there are a number of these that are out there. Um, this this molecule here has a, a name that is generally uh, recognized as, as proper, and that's benzoic acid. Um, and this is not a common name, but I, I am reminded by benzoic acid that it's worth talking about the name of this molecule. Because this is not cyclohexanoic acid. I don't know what that is. Um, this is called cyclohexane. When you have a carboxylic acid just hanging off of a cyclic, this is cyclohexane carboxylic acid. It's sort of long and unwieldy, but it's, it's the name the IUPAC uh, assigns to this. Uh, lots of carboxylic acids out there because it's such a common functional group in biologically or molecules of biological origin. You're going to find a lot of common names. Uh, carboxylic acids have been around uh, and known a lot for a long time before the IUPAC came on the scene. So uh, be prepared for some non-systematic names uh, to accompany your study of the carboxylic acids. Right, next video, I'm just going to talk a little bit about the properties, mostly the, the acid-base properties uh, of carboxylic acids just as, as a refresher of something you've probably covered before. Thank you for watching.